these unique items to your collection. Watch this video to know how to make them. In this project, we'll show how to make a smart nautical rope bracelet. We'll need blue acrylic paint, supply pins, a shell-shaped metal charm, supply caps, several pieces of thin rope, suede cord, and a hot glue gun. Take three rope pieces. Paint them blue and let dry. You can use a brush. Join the rope and suede pieces together. Add a bit of hot glue to a pin and tuck it into the rope bunch. Hot glue the rope around the pin, twist and press over to attach well. Add glue on top and put on a cap. Press down to attach. Split the rope pieces into three equal parts. Braid tight. Put the longest rope into the cap. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the braid ends. Press over. Add some more glue. And fasten the cap. Cut off the pin and make a loop. Use the special tools. Open the loop and put on the shell charm. Snip off the rope end. Add a bit of glue to the rope near the cap. Attach the end forming a loop. Let's see our bracelet. Cool! The nautical rope braid bracelet is ready. Combine it together with the watch and other bracelets and get an awesome accessory to match your outfit. Let's make new bracelets to complete the low-cost jewelry collection. We'll need a bottle of a width to fit the hand. It should be neither too narrow nor too wide. Remove the label using the craft knife. Cut it in half. Cut off the top. Trim with the scissors. We've got two bracelets of different widths. Wrap decorative tape around the narrow one. We've chosen a bright lavender color with glitter. Start wrapping the wider bracelet with the sparkly green tape. Continue with the pale lavender one. It took us a few minutes to make a couple of stunning bracelets. Your friends will hardly guess what they are made of. Today, we will show you how to make an easy Shambhala bracelet from simple screw nuts. We need ordinary screw nuts of a medium size, synthetic cord for making the Shambhala, measure out a small piece of cord for the bracelet base center, place it on the work surface securing the one end with something heavy. A glass will work well. Now take another longer piece of cord, put it under the center one and tie the ends. We've got a knot on the center cord. You can shift it closer to the edge. Start weaving. Take the right strand and cross over the center cord. Take the left strand and pass it under the cross. Move from the bottom upwards. Pull a knot using both ends. Now the left strand. Cross the center cord and pass the right strand under the point of the intersection bottom up. Pull a knot again. That's the beginning. 
Now take a screw nut and thread it on the center cord of the bracelet. Take the right strand, pass it over the center cord, put the left strand under them and pull snugly. Take another nut and put it on the center cord. Continue weaving. Now it's the left strand's turn. The actions repeat. The left and the right strands interchange. Nuts are threaded on the center cord. Let's look. The nut is on the center cord. The left strand crosses the center cord. The right strand passes under the cross. Pull and fix. It's better to take a long cord as it does shorten quickly while weaving. You can choose any thickness and any color. Tie several knots without knots. The number of knots depends on your wish. Keep in mind the wrist size. Use your fingers, pull the cord and fix. Take scissors and cut off the excess strands, not the center cord. Melt the cut ends with a lighter and press over to the bracelet. There are center cord loose ends from the sides. Connect them forming a ring. Overlap the ends. Put another cord under the center cord ends to make a clasp. Pull a knot and begin to weave like you did. Don't use knots. Keep the knots fairly loose because they need to slide when adjusting the bracelet length. A few knots will be enough. Cut off the excess clasp ends and melt them with a lighter. You can tie knots on both cords and secure. Try the bracelet on. Everything is okay and the clasp works well. Done! We've woven a fabulous handmade Shambhala nut bracelet. Now, let's make a musical note paper bead bracelet. Cut out the notes into strips of about one and a half inches. Cut each strip into three parts. Let's prepare paper beads. Roll a paper strip onto a stick. Make the roll tight to look neat. Hot glue the end. Make other beads in the same way. We'll need 25 to 30 rolls to form a bracelet. Pass a pin through a bead and make a loop at the end. Repeat for the other beads. Let's assemble the bracelet. Thread the paper beads on a piece of wire. Pass another wire cutout through the bead loops on the other side. Be careful to thread the rolls in due order. Make wire loops on one side of the bracelet. Shift the beads and make the same loops on the other side. Cover the tubes with nail polish to keep them safe for a long time. Repeat for the other side. Let's embellish the bracelet with wire curls. Wind the wire around a pen or a pencil. Cut off the excess. Make a loop with a tool. Make three more such curls. Put the details on the bracelet. The Musical Note Paper Bead Bracelet will match you perfectly. Our new tutorial is dedicated to Shambhala bead bracelet making. Today we are going to work with ceramic beads. The combination of white and red reminds of the caterpillar coloring. We are going to use synthetic Shambhala cord as a base tent of our bracelet. Measure out a cord long enough for your wrist. Add a bit extra. Place it on the table. Secure one of the ends to the work surface with something heavy. Now take another cord, a longer one. Place it under the base cord and not the ends. Start braiding. Take the right cord, lay it across the base cord to form a cross. Then take the end of the left cord and run it under the cross. Move upwards. Pass through and knot both ends of the cord. Now the left cord. Form the cross and pass the right cord upwards onto the intersection of the left and base cords. 
not. Time for Shambhala beads. String a piece on the left and the right cords. Melt the ends of the string for effortless bead threading. Again, take the right cord. Put it over the base one and pass the left cord underneath. Pull the knot. Now the left cord. Just two knots. Again, string the beads. Repeat all the steps. Keep braiding. We want two rows. The red thread makes a perfect match with the beads. Fix the knots with your fingers. Trim the ends with scissors. Don't trim the base cord. Trim the other cord. Melt it and press to the base as well. We have the ends of the base cord sticking at the sides. Bend the work around, overlapping the cords. Cut another piece of cord for sliding knot clasp and lay it under the ends of our handmade ceramic bracelet. Tie a knot and start braiding the same way without adding beads. You want your closure to be adjustable, so don't tie the knots too tight. A few knots will be enough. Trim the ends of the clasp cord. Melt and fix. Cut off the other cord as well. It's important not to mix up with the base cord. Knot the ends of the base cord and melt with a lighter. Excellent! Let's try a dormant one. Our bright and colorful caterpillar bracelet is ready to be jewel any wrist. Subscribe to our channel and find more interesting homecraft ideas. Leave your comments.